Hey, what's up? This is Sarah with Hardcore Vigilante Studios, and I just wanted to sort of shake things up on this YouTube channel, and instead of posting another how-to, I decided I'd show you a little insight into my creative process in this behind-the-scenes video diary. So recently, I found myself in a bit of an artistic, aesthetic dilemma. I like the way my traditional drawings look when I sketch them out on paper, but I'm really a fan of digital coloring. However, when you go into digital and you start inking things out in Photoshop, you kind of lose some of that organic line working. So I'm trying to find a way right now to keep the best of both worlds. So here's what I came up with. For the first drawing, I'm using a soft lead pencil to do the underdrawing, then I'm going to go over it with dark shadows and high contrast shading with heavy cross hatching and large amounts of black ink. When I took this into Photoshop, I wanted to complement the inking style, so for her, I was using stark contrast, dark shadows, as far as the coloring is concerned, as you can see her arms further back, it's got that deep shadow going on for it, you know, there's bright highlights. Definitely a whole lot of contrast in this coloring job. So for the second one, I wanted to go a lot lighter, and that started off with the underbase. For the underdrawing, I used a red pencil because that's going to totally disappear when you drag it into Photoshop. And then as far as the inking was concerned, it was very minimal. I just used the dark inking for her outline and the areas of her clothing that were already going to be black. So it's kind of just like pre-coloring. For this color scheme, I'm going to go a lot lighter as well. So as you can see here, the shadows are going to be more blended out, got that feathered edge going, sort of trying to create a soft three-dimensional look that's more realistic. And already, I'm beginning to regret this decision. It's not coming out looking really good, but oh well. I guess I just have to stick with it and see how it turns out. I'm not too crazy about this design. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I am not a fan. So, moving on. So this is by far my favorite method of drawing. Unfortunately, it does not read well in Photoshop. So I've done a couple of things differently today to try and sort of like offset that and help myself out. First off, you can see I'm wearing that funky looking half black glove. And that's so I don't smudge the pencil while I'm drawing, so I get cleaner lines and more of a definition between what's pencil and what's paper. And this one, I'm not going to ink it at all. I'm going to take it into Photoshop and I'm going to ink it in Photoshop and see if I can't keep those little sketchy lines. As far as Photoshop is concerned, I'm going to try to color this as closely as I can to how I color things traditionally for her clothes. I'm trying to keep those pencil sketches because I think they look really cool. So far, I like where these are going. Um, by far, these are not the most detailed sketches that I have done for my characters, and I'm pretty sure if I had put more effort into sketching them, they would have come out looking a lot better. But I'm liking the progress that I'm making right now, and I can already see which elements of the inking and the sketching I'm going to keep, and which elements of the coloring as well that I want to carry on to this next level. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look behind the scenes.